what's up YouTube? That's here and I'm going to be bringing you guys another X and Y battle from the tournament that I played on Friday. This is the second round. I'm going to be fighting against a guy named Boatman. His team's in the top right. Uh, it looks like a pretty just really offensive team. He doesn't really have that many walls or anything, but it was obvious just like last game that he was... Well, not last game. It was obvious what he's going to lead with. It's going to be either Noivern or Greninja, and I'm putting all my money on Noivern. So, just start off and see how it goes. Alright, so, Boatman, issue a challenge. Let's see if he leads with that, Noivern. I'm trying to counter it with my choice scarf Togekiss. There it is. In all reality, I would have been faster than Greninja anyway, so this is the perfect lead to counter a fully offensive team. Would have also stopped Rosary very well. I luckily get the crit and the flinch. Pissed off for not flinching last game. And he's going to have to swap out. So he's going to go into his Excadrill. And I like to focus Ash my Excadrills, but since I don't see a Vitar on this team, I'm thinking that Excadrill is Scarf. That's what I'm really thinking. So I don't want to hang around and fight the Choice Scarf Excadrill, or any Excadrill for that matter. I'm just going to swap out and go to my Garchomp. And he pops up towards Dance, so he's most definitely not Scarf. But if he's not Scarf, and I don't know, he's just going to like... Who's to my car charm? <laughs> he has to switch out. He goes into Noivern, probably expecting me to Earthquake. Which I do, just because I actually have to take care of that Excadrill. And now I know that I'm slower than Noivern, so I have to switch out again. I go into my Gardevoir, which is also a Fairy-type, like Kogekiss, to stop the Draco Meteor. There it is right there. That was pretty obvious. He should have seen that one coming. He's going to have to withdraw again. Now, he's going to go into the Excadrill. And I pop my Megastone. And I don't, I think I just go for like a Dazzling Gleam. Let's see if what I go for. Yeah, Dazzling Gleam. So yeah, this Gardevoir is actually a very special Gardevoir. I'm going to be showcasing something super special in this game about it. And, uh, but I, I don't want to fight Extra Drill. I just, I'd rather fight someone else. I'm going to go back into my Garchomp. Probably expecting Iron Head or Earthquake. There's the Earthquake. That's no big deal. I just can't really eat those type of attacks with my Gardevoir. And so I show my lefties, and at this point I think he's going to switch again. And so I pop a sub, but he didn't switch. He decided to keep me honest. I think his te he's teammates with the guy I played last round, so they must have just... He must have already knew I had substitute. So that's not going to work. I'm probably just going to have to try and kill this guy. It's fine. The worst case scenario that can happen for me here is if I go Earthquake and he was back in an room, but since I have two fairy types, I'd be fine anyway. Luckily for me, he just eats the Earthquake, and now I can start using my Tokus whenever I want. You see, I got the crit there, but I didn't really need it. And Lefty's activate. Alright. So, I killed the extra drill. He's going to send out the Noivern. And I can't really fight Noivern, so I'm going to just recall. And I'm going to go into Jolteon. Uh, Draco Meteor could happen, but he decides to go for Hurricane, which is a very smart move. But not really that smart because I have a Jolteon. Luckily for him, he gets the Confuse. And I don't want to really waste my Jolteon here. I can most definitely switch out into a Fairy type to stop the incoming Draco Meteor. Because this guy's like... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I can just call him all day. So he Hurricanes me. It hits again. And it doesn't get the uh, Confuse. So he's going to eat a Dazzling Gleam in the face. Which is super effective. Blah blah blah, you guys have all heard before. And he's gonna go down. So he's gonna send out Lucario. Now, right here, I'm gonna pause it. Gardevoir normally would lose against Lucario because uh, Lucario could just bullet punch and I would die because Steel Super Fight against Fairy. But I decided to call this guy. And most times Lucarios go for Swords Dances too. So this is a very special Gardevoir. As you guys probably know, Mega Gardevoir's ability is Pixelate, which means it transforms all normal type moves into fairy type moves and gives him a 1.3 power boost. And you're trying to think, what normal moves does Gardevoir get? Well, the only real one I can think of is Hyper Beam. Now, d don't like stop the video or anything because I'm talking about using Hyper Beam, but like think about it. Hyper Beam is a 150 base power. It's going to be stabbed, so it's going to go up to 325 and then it's going to have 1.3 power boost on top of that. That's like a ridiculous amount of damage. Now, I play a card game called Weiss Schwartz and there's a type of a Thing called, we like to call it a friendship cannon, where it's a huge, like, hyper beam cannon, and when you hit someone with it, you gotta be best friends forever. So, this is gonna be the unveiling of the Gardevoir. 
friendship cannon. I pop that hyper beam, and like we've been doing like stat checks, like me and my team, we've been doing a bunch of stuff about it. There's like no Pokemon that could live through this hyper beam. I think full special wall Togekiss did. So things like full special wall Togekiss, Blissey, those type of things can live. But like Vaporeons, even Scizors, look that Lucario went down. I mean, Lucario is supposed to resist Hyper Beam, but it totally died. And of course, you see that you're gonna, you're pretty much gonna die after you use it. This is, com I was completely trolling in making it. It's not supposed to be super competitive, but it is super hilarious. And it totally worked. Like when I hit with it, everyone was just like, "Oh man, look at that Hyper Beam!" So ruin that guy's day. At this point, like I said, I killed Excadrill, so I can pretty much just go to town with my Togekiss. And just air slash all this guy's Pokemon. But yeah, I really, I'm really happy that that, that Gardevoir worked. I try a couple more times later in the tourney. It's just a complete, if you send Gardevoir out at the right time, your opponent, one of their Pokemon is just going to die. They just pick something to die. Doesn't matter really if they resist it. And most of the time, if they're like a wall, like a Blissey or a Togekiss, they can't capitalize on you having to recharge. And you can hit them with another attack and then potentially kill another Pokemon with Hyper Beam. So the potential for outplay is there too. But yeah, this game's pretty much over. <laughs> I'm just Chase Cafe slashing on everything. And uh, yeah, I'm surprised that that lived, but it's not like he can kill me. Yeah, this is going to be the game. All right. So that was a really funny game, the unveiling of the Friendship Cannon or the the BM Cannon, the Bad Manner Cannon, as some of us like to call it. It's, it's a pretty funny type of Pokemon. It's always fun messing around with awkward movesets and stuff like that. And that's I think it's one of the only ways to really make Gardevoir viable. So, hope you guys enjoyed the battle. This was round two from the weekly tournament I played at Mage's Realm. There's still a couple more rounds left. Hopefully I get those out in a couple days. Well, I usually do like one upload a day, but whatever. Hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys next time.